texture there. I like, I like that. Like, watch his hip. Watch right here. Look at that. Ready? Ready? Stick out that hip. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll go with average. I think that looks good. Co. Oh, here we go, boys! All right. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Go forth now, Watcher, as my herald. Know that okay. I do not give you this title lightly. When the time comes, you will have the power to reveal the souls that cling to you. To open the gateway from the in-between to the waking world. Mm. All right. Awesome. Perfect, perfect. Thank you guys for hanging tight during all that. I really appreciate it. It took us a little bit, but, uh, but we are good. We are good. Mm -mm. One second, guys. Let's go. Find Aethys. Learn his plans. When I have cause to talk to you, I will summon you. Great. With a quick gesture of her hand, you feel a sharp pain in what would be your chest. The pain continues, intruding deeper into your soul. Looking down, you see a small lump of darkness roiling within you. The darkness lingers there, but the pain abates and fades entirely within the span of a few seconds. Hmm. A chime. Do not fear, Harold. It will not harm you unless you choose to cross me. I trust it will not come to that. Her gauntleted hand gestures to the dwarf, hovering nearby. The dwarf nods, contorts his face with his odd smile, and gestures to a new door. This is so good. Oh, this voice acting! How does it feel getting the game narrated by Ellie from Last of Us? Dude, the, I can, uh, the narrator, I'm loving it already. I'm loving the narration. Okay, we did that thing. Is that a dare? The return to your body feels like waking after a fitful drunken sleep. The rocking of the ship sends pain jolting through your limbs. Crashing waves hammer inside your skull. Adair watches over your body with a glazed look, taking long, even tokes from his pipe. At the first movement of your chest, he starts. His gasp, mid-puff, sends him coughing and straining for breath. No, there's no way. You're awake. What are you doing awake? How are you feeling? Who are you? Me? You don't remember? Adair points at his face, which he seems to be arranging into his most recognizable expression. Receiving no response, he shrugs. I'm the captain of this boat. And I was real big back in Deerwood. Had this keep called Cadnua. I was famous. And I was what you'd call a watcher. I'd go around talking to dead folks and creeping out just about everyone who saw. Wait a he second! He up his hands with fingers curled to mimic claws. You, you're just some farmer. Likes to follow me around. Take most of the beating for me when we get attacked. Classic Adair. Don't worry, it'll all come back. Very funny. Ah, uh, see? You remember. <laughs> anyway, you didn't answer my question. How are you feeling? Alive. Alive's a big improvement. 
I hate to cast a pall over your recovery, but I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. It's the steward! The voice echoes steward. from inside the bust. Steward. The remains of the steward of Cadnua. Cadnua has been destroyed. Hmm. Aethus possessed the statue of Maros Nua and rose from the ground, consuming the souls of all nearby. It is only by the exceptional strength of your soul that you survived. And even then, just barely. The further Aethus withdrew, the weaker you became. We chartered this ship and followed him to the Deadfire Archipelago. Hmm. I know not how, but it seems he has retained a piece of your soul. And proximity to it has brought you back. Remain silent. Misfortune's brewing topside. We... Magrans fires the captain's stirs. An older man with ale sour breath rubs his bloodshot eyes and stares at you. Engrim, the smell of drink on your breath could wake the very dead. Now what's this about? She can smell? Through her stone nose? <laughs> Impressive. Pirates. They're demanding parley with you, Captain. I know this is asking a lot, but you better arm yourself and get on deck. Should be some gear in there. He indicates a nearby wardrobe. Whoa. All right. Now make some use of it. Oh. If you click on an item in your inventory to pick it up, you can place it on any highlighted slot to equip. You can also double click items to automatically equip them. Oh man, look at this. All right, we got our colors up here. Here's the new AI system. If you'd like your party members to perform actions automatically in combat, you can select AI behaviors for them. Each class has multiple behaviors to choose from based on different roles they can fill. You also have the ability to fully customize or create new behaviors by opening up the behavior editor. <clears throat> We're gonna have some fun with that later. Okay. We'll put the great sword there. What's this little button do? Copy. What? I can, there must be a good reason for that. I just don't know what it is. So you can put the same Oh, it's so you can use the same shield and two different weapons. That's what it is. So you can have, like, you could copy the shield to the offhand and then have two different main weapons. Cool. Uh, we, were, we were talking about wanting that in the last game. How fun. Okay, great. We'll put this here. Okay. Um, what is this? Medium armor. 35% recovery time, but we should probably put it on. Ooh, looks good, buddy. Looking good. Okay. Uh, we'll put this... Oh! Food can only be consumed when resting. Okay, we don't know what that means yet. Also, three and four weapon slots. Nice. Um, okay. I think the we're good. The pirates of Deadfire are notorious. I suggest you deal with them quickly. Get armed and suited up. We gotta get on deck. F5. Okay, before we go up and into combat, let's take a look down here. So we've got our AIs. We've got our crafting. Oh, that's weird. I didn't expect that button there. Uh, we've got our weapon sets. We've got our quick items, which we do not have any of yet. We have our monk if abilities. If we don't get out there now, we'll have lost by the time we do. Oh, sorry. Okay. Ah, okay, fine. <laughs> Mm. Well, what have we here? A little sloop? Lost and alone in the storm? 
Oh, they didn't, they're not acting the narrator here. So maybe that was just in the intro. A, sure, a surly British, brutish, <clears throat> sorry Brits, brutish looking captain stands stiff back in before his crew. He scowls as he assesses you, his hair whipping about his ears in the wind. I'll be taking your ship now, if you don't mind. And especially if you do. Rude. Well, at least he asked. True. I am a gentleman of fortune. The captain shrugs in the sheeting rain before pinning you with a slow, murderous grin. Give her up easy, and I'll see you get a swift death. It'll be bloody and agonizing, sure. But at least it'd be quick. Make a rude hand gesture. Fire all cannons. Aim at the mouthy one. <laughs> I don't have any quarrel with you. Why do you want my ship? Why complicate this with a quarrel? I see, I want, but. Oh, you have gained a reputation and a disposition. Dispositions represent how people perceive your personality throughout the world. Even seemingly nasty reputations will be favored by some people, and benign reputations sometimes bring out the worst in certain people. No disposition is inherently good or bad in Pillars of Eternity Dead Fire. Uh, Nutcase says, lol, this isn't fully voiced, they lied. Actually, to be 100% clear, they never said the game was fully voiced. What they said is that it was fully voiced dialogue. Anytime a character speaks, so anything in quotes, is fully voiced. All the narration, they never said would be voiced. Which is the whole reason I was so excited when I heard that in the intro. Um, but yeah, we're, we were not expecting the narrator to be voiced. That was just an intro thing. To see icons for the effects of dialogue decisions on disposition, enable the show personality reputation option in the difficulty setting. Oh. It's as simple as that. I actually think I want to see that. Okay. Now then. Me and my mates will be helping ourselves to your ship. There's no need to see her sunk by the storms. Or my culverins. With a grunt, he nods towards the port cannons. Listen up, mates. He cracks his neck as he addresses his crew. I'm off to spear me a bigger fish. One with sharper teeth like. I'm trusting you lot not to cock this up. Don't damage the sloop when you take it. Play with the crew if you'd like. But don't bring me any prisoners. None that are alive. Well then. That's pretty rude. You had been with oh, we're doing it, man. This is happening. Alright. Characters with a red selection circle are hostile to you. To attack an enemy with a you can select the attack button in the lower center of the screen to put the cursor in the attack state. This will allow you attack you allow you to attack anyone, even friendly characters. Okay. Uh real quick, I want to turn on that. Let's, let's turn that on. Okay, attack him. We're going to... We don't really have any spells to cast. We can't really charm an animal here. Um, so let's take a look at our, our spirit shifts real quick. The bear has 28 health restored, plus one enemies engaged. Okay, so that's like... A, oh, the bear spirit shift can engage targets and has a high armor rating and can invoke a terrifying roar. We've got the boar. He actually has a regen effect. The boar spirit shift can engage targets, regenerates health, and inflicts damage over time with its melee attacks. Okay, that's awesome. We've got the wolf. He moves quicker. The spirit, the wolf spirit shift moves quickly and has an attack that can knock enemies prone. Cat. The cat spirit shift is a naturally fast attack and can burst into even faster attacks for a short period of time. And the stag. The stag spirit shift has higher defenses and can attack groups of enemies with its melee carnage attack. Let's start with a stag. So now we're a stag. We're going to attack him. But we're also going to do this. Plus 20% action speed for 11 seconds and quick, which is going to add to our decks, making us even quicker. There it goes. And here we go. Let's do this nice and slow to start with. How do I, how do, I do slow? Oh, wow. We can go real slow now. Co misses. Co misses. Uh, does it say my percent? Oh, there we go. Only 12, though. Oh, Lord. How do I speed it up? Oh, there we go. Oh, we almost got him. Here we go. Let's get him. 
try this carnage attack. Oosh! There we go. Man, this spirit shift is lasting. There we go. I was going to say, it was lasting a good while. Now, we can't do that one again, but we can do another one. This one has a chance to not prone. And it moves quicker. Knock down the pirate. Oh, we can't get to him. Nope, yes we can. We're going to break out of spirit shift. Get our gun out. And shoot him. Awesome! Storm's picking up! Yeah, the water looks really good. Uh-oh. Uh. You've defeated the pirates, but you're not out of trouble yet. The storm picks up, lashing your ship and driving you dangerously close to a rocky shore. The Defiant's crew hurries to reduce sail and batten down the hatches. The Defiant is the ship purchased with the last of Cade Nua's riches. It has borne you from the eastern reach to the Deadfire Archipelago. Uh, they work quickly, but the ship is still listing heavily. Just then, a loose crate tumbles towards you, gathering speed on the rain slick deck. It misses you, but knocks Chatupek, one of your deckhands, off his feet. The Defiant heaves. Chatupek pitches over the side. He grabs onto the rail, but his fingers are slipping. He cries out for help. Meanwhile, the runway runaway crate totters on the edge of the deck, ready to plunge overboard. You recognize the symbol in the front and realize it likely contains the salvage from Cade Nua, your keep. Oh, you're already making me choose between people and loot? All right, Chatupek. You grab Chatupek's arm just as his grip fails. For a tense moment, he hangs suspended over the rolling sea. Then with a mighty tug, you pull him back onto the deck. <coughs> oh, You hear a heavy splash. The crate from Cade Nua is gone. Chatupek, meanwhile, nods in gratitude and hurries to his station. Meanwhile, the storm has nearly driven you ashore. A flash of lightning reveals a treacherous coastline and Eothos striding into the distance. The lookout barely has time to shout a warning before the Defiant runs aground. The impact hurls you from the deck and into a froth of waves, bodies and splintering debris. You struggle towards the beach just ahead, even as the surf tugs you towards the open sea. You kick and paddle with all your might until at last you feel sand between your fingers. Pulling yourself ashore, you collapse. Also, that booty, am I right? That's a big old green booty. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. By the way, I am super behind on notifications today. It may be a while. Early warning. <laughs> You've been getting a lot of sleep so far on this trip. I'd have woke you, but you look so peaceful with your face in the sand. Adair runs his fingers through his hair and removes a strand of seaweed he finds lodged there. He examines it closely and then tosses it on the sand. If you're worried about the ship, you can stop worrying. It's wrecked right over there. Hmm. Okay. He points out the Defiant, despite it being difficult to miss from your vantage point. So far, it's just you and me and the chair lady over there. It's a relief to see you awake, my lord. I worried you were in for another long sleep. I hate boats. Shh. It's right behind you. Unfortunately, I believe we'll be needing the Defiant yet. Unless you mean to settle down on the island for good. Well, there's a thought. What do we do now? It is your decision, but Aethus still holds a piece of your soul. He was moving inland last I saw of him. I rather think he will have been hard to miss. Understandable. Let's see about the other survivors. And somehow we gotta get the ship repaired. I don't want to be paddling out of here on a salvage raft. For now, I'd say your best bet is to find some sign of civilization. If nothing else, we may be able to hire on a shipwright. My lord, if it is not too taxing, could you explain how it came to pass that you were returned to us? Squint dramatically while looking out at the ocean. <laughs> My soul passed into the beyond and Bereth gave me a choice. Find Eothos or die. These gods. You make one deal with them to stop a madman, and the next thing you know, they're threatening your soul. That isn't much of a choice. 
But castle or no castle, you... Oh, quest journal. Okay. Some of the quests you receive may be challenging until your character has achieved a higher level. A quest that is beyond your character's current level will be marked in your journal with one, two, or three skulls. One for every level. If a quest is more than three levels above your character's current level, then the skulls will appear red. Still, my lord, and I will aid you to the best of my ability. Well, I suppose we better get a move on. Let's go. Oh! Okay, party member stuff. Cool. I get to pick what class Adair is? Well, he's going to be our main tank, and he's probably going to be our main tank all game, so I want fighter for him. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's he's our boy. Okay. Yeah, good. He even has, like, sort... There's knockdown. There's this pool. Hey, this brings back some memories, huh? What are your thoughts on Iotas at the moment? I don't know. I've still got this picture of him in my mind from when I was a kid in church. It's nothing like what we're seeing. Just like it was nothing like Widewind. But that first image, that's still what Aethys is to me. If you like. What did you do after we ended the legacy? Uh, I like that feeling, knowing we'd stop Theos. We were part of something big. And that was something I never felt before. Not even at war. Guess I went looking for it again. Not that I wanted to tangle with gods, but something smaller. Something I thought I could manage. Well, there's a group of Aethasians in Deerwood, the night market. Go around helping other Aethasians in secret. Sort of like the Leaden Key, guess you could say. Except not a bunch of craven lunatics. So this one night I'm at a tavern, and this fella has a disagreement with me. A game of Orland's head he'd lost some money at. And I'm bashing his head into the target when he notices I got this pendant with a symbol of Aethys on it. So we get to talking, and it turns out he's an alright fella. Runs with the night market. And after he was feeling better a month or two later, he introduced me to some folks in the group. And they let me in. How'd that work out? Well, it depended. The jobs we did, I got to help a lot of folks. A lot of times it was helping folks get out of bad situations. Getting them set up with better ones. I liked that. But the group had problems. A lot of different ideas how to run things. Sometimes it cost the people we were trying to help. And I don't know if that was something we could have avoided, or if it was the cost of trying to fix things. Hmm. If you like. Alright, cool. Uh, F5 to quick save. Great. Oh, wow. Quick, quick save. Do a save game real quick. There we go. Man, that's super quick. Uh, oh, I already have a Watcher ability. Frightened cannot use hostile abilities? For 36 seconds? It's like a, it's like a mute... Hey, good, we can still hockey. Um, although... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Actually, I think we're going to be probably starting in... I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to really play with the forms. Right here. Uh, what's up, Stuart? So many souls lost. Stuart. Surely someone else survived. Ugh. Okay, looting looks the same. Great. Whoa! Oh, we can talk to the dead guys. Hope, Hope the, the rest, rest of those sodden bastards made it. Oh man! Sorry, dudes. Small shield. Uh, we may want to use that on the dare. Let's take a look at the stash. Where's the stash? Oh, this is the stash. Oh wow! Cinder bomb. Blinded and burn damage. Let's put that on Co. Cloak of Bareth. Um. Oh, are these the things I got for doing the the codes? Yeah, I did the codes. There's there's a there's a little. Oh, it's Stinky Pete. Plus one resolve and pet party wide effect. While Stinky Pete is following you around, you get a bonus to resolve, and your party has bonus defense against poison and disease attacks. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Look at that cloak. So nice. What's this? I have no idea what food does yet, so we're just going to leave that. What? Wait, what, what is what is what is that he has? It's the delivery stairs. Come here. No, not not that. No. My lord, let me see that little guy. Bring me that little smooth. Without this. Come here, man. Oh my lord, we're playing Pee-wee too today, dude. I know. He. No, you you can't have that. That's that's male. That's not for you. That's that's male. Hey, Rowan, what are your thoughts on the new pet ability system? Yeah? What do you think of Stinky Pete? It's pretty cool, isn't it? No? But you, that, that package is a lot cooler, isn't it? Yeah, it probably is. Um. Oh! I will look at those later. Thank you. That's really cool. I appreciate it. E? E? No, no, no. See, that's a, that's a cloth map for the other POV. This is a, a, oh my god, it's a signed cloth map of Path of Exile? Dude, whoa, well, yeah, you can, I think I'm gonna frame this. <laughs> uh, wow, okay, that kind of came out of nowhere. Jeez, we'll, we'll do that later. Uh, music is a little bit loud, 10-4, okay. Um, hey, buddy, I'm gonna give you back to mom, okay? Because I gotta keep streaming. <laughs> All right, baby, you ready? Come here, bud. Y'all set? You ready, you ready for the, the, the RLM? The yeah. Rowan the Rowan missile? Here we go. Three, two, one. <gasps> there we go. Awesome. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, just super quick. Uh, big thank you to the Path of Exile devs. They sent me this map that's signed. And it is awesome. It's like an actual cloth map. I'm totally going to get this framed and hang at my office. I really appreciate that, guys. I didn't even know this was coming. Um, <laughs> maybe. Wow. Thank you. How old is my son? Uh, he's just about a month, a year and three months now? A year and four months? Yeah. It's around. He's around there. A year and three months. No. year and two months. Yeah. There we go. year and two months. Uh, let's put the music volume at like... We'll, we'll try it here. It's actually... The percentages seem really loud, so we'll put it at like 20. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so we got our cloak on. Looking good, looking good. How's our map? Ooh, nice map. Okay. We are, of course, going to go everywhere and explore everything. Watch and learn. Okay, there's a guy named... Oh, who's this? Ah! You found an ingredient. Ingredients can be used to enchant unique weapons, armor, and shields, as well as to craft food, scrolls, potions, and other items. Now, that brings up an interesting question. Where is my enchant button? Do I craft an enchant? No, I don't. Hmm. We will have to see about that later. Oh, is this better for you? No, not really. I like the shield engagement additional effect. Yeah, we'll keep this for now. Cool. I guess we'll just leave the steward in the sand for now. Uh, I want to find that guy saved. Help. Fire kelp. And water. Oh shit. Um, first of all, help him. A dagger. Nice. Let's go grab you. Oh, grappling hook. We can probably use that in this encounter coming. Consider it done. Let's grab that too. Leather armor. Oh, here we go. I think I'd actually prefer that. And a principy hat. Ah, much better. In fact, is this, that might be better on a dare. Mm, compare. Oh, it's identical, except that gets second chance, so we'll keep that. Oh, there's enchant. Hmm. Unique with a gold border, weapons, armor, and only unique weapons can be enchanted. 
Oh. Each enchanting recipe requires a number of specific ingredients. When you have the ingredients to perform an enchantment on an item, it will display a plus in the upper left corner of the item's icon. Interesting. Grants Veterans Maneuver? Okay, the enchant system has been completely reworked. That's cool. That's real cool. What do you got here? A stun bomb. Potions of minor healing. And white leaf. Oh, it's got a little bit of a... I gotta be careful with that. That's a drug, isn't it? Yeah, it's a drug. We gotta be careful with that one. I don't want a dare crashing at any point. Challenge. 